Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another historic game video. Today we're taking a look at a blue-white refurbish gift combo deck, which tries to combine the 4-mana sorcery refurbish, which returns target artifact card from our graveyard to the battlefield, with the 7-mana Godfather's Gift, which at the beginning of combat on our turn lets us exile a creature card from our graveyard, and then we get to make a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4-4 blank zombie, and it also gains haste until end of turn. So Godfather's Gift, an incredibly powerful card to get in play, especially if we can cheat it into play on turn 4 with our refurbish, and then there's no shortage of powerful and synergistic creatures to get back with our Godfather's Gift, including Champion of Wits, which will draw us 4 cards when it enters the battlefield as a 4-4, and we've got our Angel of Invention, which also has good synergy with our Champion of Wits and our Godfather's Gift. And all these cards we could potentially play in the standard version of the Blue-White Gift deck. Now one card that sets this version apart of other Blue-White Gift decks is the inclusion of Mystic Sanctuary in the mana base. This is a land that counts as an island and comes into play untapped if we control at least three other islands. And if Sanctuary comes into play untapped, we can put target instant or sorcery card from our graveyard back on top of our library. So Mystic Sanctuary can potentially put a refurbish from our graveyard back on top of our deck. And that can easily happen if we randomly mill refurbish with one of our many mill effects, so that way we more reliably get access to refurbish to get back our Godfather's Gift, so it overall makes the deck a lot more consistent. And the reason we can get away with Mystic Sanctuary in the mana base is because all our blue-white dual lands also count as islands. We've got Rogarin Triome, which comes into play tapped and counts as an island mountain plains. We've got Farmland, which we can also cycle for two mana, comes into play tapped and counts as a plains island. And Hallowed Fountain, which we can shock into play at the cost of two life and is also plains island. And then we've got our four sanctuaries, which are all islands as well, and our eight basic islands. So every single land in the deck is an island, so Sanctuary will come into play untapped on turn 4 and potentially put refurbish back on top of our deck. Now because of these weird mana requirements we only actually have 12 white sources in the deck which means we can't reliably cast double white spells early on which is why we're playing Deputy of Detention instead of the double white Skyclave Apparition and we're not playing any copies of Wrath of God which can otherwise be a nice inclusion in these more controlling blue white decks. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck at one mana. We've got some self-mill effects with Merfolk Secret Keeper, which can mill four of our cards with the Venture Deeper, and then is also a creature to potentially get back with our Godfather's Gift. So this just helps us fill the graveyard to hopefully find a Godfather's Gift and some creatures to reanimate. And then we've got two copies of Minister of Increase, which will gain two energy when it enters the battlefield, and we can tap it and pay an energy to mill ourselves for three. And then at 2 mana we've got Chart a Course, which will draw 2 cards, and then we have to discard a card unless we've attacked this turn. So that's a way for us to potentially discard Godfather's Gift or some of our creatures we want to reanimate if we have them stuck in our hand. And then Strategic Planning, which lets us take a look at the top 3 cards of our library, put one of them into our hand and the rest into our graveyard, so will also help us fill the graveyard nicely. Then at 3 mana we already mentioned Deputy Attention. This gives us a bit of interaction, as the Deputy will enter the battlefield and exile an opposing non land permanent and each permanent with the same name the opponent controls so that gives us a bit of removal and then later we can also get it back with our godfather's gift to potentially remove more stuff and then we also have the full playset of champion of wits which is totally fine to just play on turn three as a 2-1 that when it enters the battlefield lets us draw cards equal to its power and if we do discard two cards so we don't always necessarily draw two cards with champion of wits if we happen to have angel of invention in play which gives our creatures plus one plus one we can potentially draw three cards with champion of wits and then discard two and of course if we get it back with our godfather's gift as a 4-4 or eternalize it for seven mana and turn it into a 4-4 then we'll get to draw four cards and discard two and discarding cards is also useful if we want to try and get the Godfather's Gift in the graveyard. Then we've got our four copies of Refurbish, which besides reanimating Godfather's Gift, can potentially get back our Meteor Golem as well, which is a 7 mana 3 3 artifact creature that when it enters the battlefield destroys target non land permanent and opponent controls, so it's both a nice creature to get back with Godfather's Gift, or potentially with Refurbish if we don't have a Godfather's Gift in the graveyard. And then the full playset of Angel of Invention, a 5 mana 2 1 Angel with Flying, Vigilance, and Lifelink, and Fabricate 2, meaning that when the Angel enters the battlefield, we either put 2 plus 1 
plus one counters on it or make two one one servo tokens and then other creatures we control get plus one plus one so if we get back angel of invention with our god first gift it will be a four four zombie angel and then we can either put two plus one plus one counters on it making it a six six flying vigilance lifelink with haste that can attack right away or we can make it a four four and then make two one one tokens that of course get the plus one plus one bonus as well and then angel of invention boosting our champion of wits's power is also a nice combo so angel of invention just an excellent creature to have in this deck and sometimes you just end up hard casting it for five mana and then we've got our four copies of God First Gift, two meter golem, and then we've already discussed the mana base. So that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. I'll have to decide if I want to play Island on turn one or Sanctuary, so we're guaranteed planning. We did draw land. I guess we'll just play Triumph then, and then turn two maybe go planning instead of Minister to make sure we hit our land drops. Still need to find a God First Gift to put in the graveyard. Opponent with a turn to Spirit Dancer, so now finding Deputive Detention as interaction could be important too. Yeah, I think I need to planning. I mean, I could also just go Minister, play Triumph Tapped, and then I can just Champion of Wits on three, and then hopefully turn four Refurbish. And we'll have milled a Deputy of Detention, and hopefully we're not dead to the Spirit Dancer. Yeah, maybe that's more realistic than hoping to planning into a Deputy and also needing to draw an untapped lands to cast it next turn. But it's never a great feeling letting someone untap with a Spirit Dancer in play. Could also get back a Meteor Golem to get rid of Spirit Dancer, so we've got six creatures that can potentially act as removal. And just getting back an Angel of Invention can gain us a bit of life and provide some chum blocking servo tokens. Take six. Alright, so. Planning digs a little bit deeper than Champion of Wits, but Champion of Wits provides a chum blocker. So I think I'm still playing the champion here. Also lets me put Angel in the graveyard, so we're guaranteed to have a creature in case we do find the uh, God First Gift. And yeah, Meter Golem, I can also just refurbish next turn if we don't mill over God First Gift instead. Wanted to wait on milling with Minister, in case we need it as a blocker. Our opponent is on blue-white, so if they can give Spirit Dancer flying, we could be in trouble. Alright, just lifelink, that's fine. So happy to chump. Mill ourselves, and we hit the gift. But even without hitting it, we would have been able to deal with the Spirit Dancer. Don't need to put that back. Get back gifts, and I'll keep Minister untapped. Don't need to mill right now, since I'm happy enough getting back Meter Golem. And then... Yeah, I guess I'll attack with the Golem and then... I can activate Minister after maybe chumping the token. Slither Blade unblockable. And escapes the Sentinel's eyes, that's fine. We could potentially mill over a second God First Gift and get two copies in play at once. And then main phase, we can go digging for more removal. Alright, so... At the very least, we can get back Angel or Champion of Wits. For now... I guess we'll plan. I wouldn't be able to refurbish afterwards, but that's okay. 
and deputy I'm happy to put in the graveyard, or I could just play the deputy and then get back Champion of Wits to draw some cards. And probably don't need to get anything back. So I'll play Deputy, see if my opponent has a protection spell here. If they don't. And my opponent concedes, awesome. So yeah, we could get back Champion of Woods to draw cards, or we could get back Angel of Invention to try and close out the game faster. But once we reach this point in the game, it's pretty difficult to lose. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a Keepable Hand. Turn 1 Minister, turn 2 can decide to planning or charter course and go looking for refurbish and got first gift let's see what we're up against bushuka bog could have been pretty effective against us drew a secret keeper i think i would still rather planning here and well putting gift in the graveyard's excellence could have also kept one in hand just in case they have a second Bujuka Bog here. But this should be fine. And then end of turn will mill with Minister. Ah, they're gonna Legions end it. And then we just gotta find Refurbish. Even if we mill Refurbish, we can get it back with Sanctuary, which is a nice part here. So Charter Course doesn't see as many cards as Secret Keeper in terms of Sanctuary, but of course we want to ideally draw Refurbish, so I think just going for Charter Course is the way to go. And then this card Angel, and since we drew an untapped land I can still mill with a Secret Keeper, that way if I mill Refurbish I can still get it back with Sanctuary. So no Refurbish in the top 20 cards. Hopefully we'll find it next turn between Charter Course and Planning. Although I guess we'll have to play Farmland Tapped since we don't have Hallowed Fountain. Alright, so... Probably go for Planning. And if I take Hallowed Fountain, then I can afford to... Shard a course here. Could also Sanctuary and put another Planning back on top. Which may not be a bad idea, because next turn I don't really have anything planned otherwise to cast. So, Sanctuary back a planning, and then chart a course to draw into it. And then get rid of farmland, I guess. Could also cycle farmland, potentially. Although we might end up casting deputy plus planning. Opponent on some sort of black-white control deck with the Phyrexian Arena, which we can get rid of. So we'll plan. And still nothing. I mean, at this point we're close to hard casting Gift, so maybe that's the play. Can also escape Champion of Wits. Or I guess Eternalize is the correct word. Ritual, opponent gains 4, so they've definitely got some life gain synergy. Let's see if we can finally find Refurbish. Still nothing. Take a Champion of Wits. And then get rid of Triome and Meter Golem. And hit for one. Alright, so points at 30. 29. 6 mana. What's it gonna be? Revenge. Alright, opponent up to 58. We go down to 9. Sanctuary. Doesn't need to get back anything. Could go for Angel of Invention to just hit a bit harder and then next turn get back champion, maybe just by eternalizing it. 
since we don't have anything else to do with our mana. And normally I would make the servo tokens, but I kind of expect my opponent to have a sweeper. So we'll just get the two counters to hit a little bit harder this turn. Uh, back up to 15, but we've got a long way to go with our opponent at 47. And if the angel survives, we can eternalize champion and draw 5 next turn. Or we could eternalize its second main phase. Alright, opponent actually had a Helios intervention to destroy gift. An extinction event on odd gets rid of everything. Angel also counts as a 5 drop. Luckily drew another gift. So now I should probably go for champion instead of angel. Or I guess meter golem destroy for X in arena could be fine too. Sure. And then next turn, maybe get back Angel, and then second main, Eternalized Champion to draw an extra card. One more Revitalizes. Opponent can start activating Castle Ardenvale. Alright, so we'll move to combats. Get back Angel of Invention. And I guess this time we'll go for the servo tokens. Alright, still no refurbishes. Discard Island's Triome. And then we can still play Secret Keeper, which is probably better than milling myself with only 16 cards remaining. And this will still be a one-powered creature thanks to Angel. So, four copies of refurbish in the bottom 16. But luckily managed to hardcast Godfair's Gift. Revenge puts my opponent up to 90. Okay. And then probably just hard cast Angel, get back another one. And hope they don't have a sweeper. And then I guess we're planning to try and find Refurbish for next turn. So we can get a second gift in play. And really don't want to mill myself anymore. We'll pass it back. Alright, revenge my opponent up to 106. And we can double refurbish. Eleven cards remaining. Can get back three creatures. Just getting back a secret keeper is fine here. We'll hold Secret Keeper and see if they can draw a Sweeper. And my opponent concedes, alright. Well, they gained a lot of life, but they couldn't quite kill us. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with what looks like a fine hand. Land could be a little bit awkward here with two lands coming to play tapped early on. 
And then we just need to mill uh, God First Gifts. Minister, I guess we want to minister before Secret Keeper. Also have the option of attacking and casting Charter Course to just draw two. Opponent on Teamer. Maybe a Neoform combo deck, which is going to be a tough matchup since we don't really interact at instant speed all that much. Probably still want to planning to hit my land drop instead of Charter Course so I can start milling with Minister, give myself the best chance of having a turn 4 refurbish. Take Island. Alright, there's a gift, so just need a land next turn. Between 8 Islands, 4 Hallowed Fountains and for Mystic Sanctuaries, I guess minus two. We've got a lot of untapped lands. And yeah, the Valakut Awakening kind of confirms our suspicions. All right, no untapped land this turn. So instead, I guess we'll planning again. Find fountain. And then I kind of like attack charter course. Do we have some creatures worth reanimating? I guess putting Angel of Invention in the graveyard is probably the play here, since that'll apply the most pressure, so I actively want to charter course before attacking. And then don't really need a second gift, do we? We already have two. Now, if my opponent does threaten to combo next turn, I could mill my opponent in the hopes of milling their only copy of a Tuk Tuk Rubble Fort to avoid my opponent giving everything haste. So that's still a play we can make. And yeah, looks like they have it. Neoform, so we'll mill our opponents and hope to mill something important. Well, hopefully they don't have any dual caster mages left, but seems unlikely. The interesting thing is that if we did manage to reanimate Angel of Invention, we probably would have made it into a 6-6 Flying Vigilance lifelink. And it doesn't take many of those to potentially beat the combo, even if they manage to get Celebrant in play, just because you get to eat a dual caster mage and gain 12 life. But sadly, our opponent had the combo on turn 4 and we died. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Just need to find a couple lanes and try and mill a God First Gift. This hand would benefit from something like Charter Course or Champion of Wits. Yeah, gotta take Charter Course and then we've got Gift in the Graveyard, so just need to hit my lands, discard Meter Golem Angel. Opponent on Black White Zombies. Land is good. And then probably get rid of Angel. And next turn we get to bring it back. Opponent has a nice start with turn 1 Crypt Breaker, turn 2 Reaver, and now Death Baron to give everything plus 1 and Death Touch. 
Yeah, no real reason to play Hollowed Fountain here. I could put, like, a strategic planning back into my hand, I suppose, although next run I might just hardcast Angel. Which seems fine, too. Yeah, I guess... Chart, of course, to maybe discard Meter Golem could be fine. And then we'll bring back Angel. And making Servos to block on the ground seems nice. And then next turn I can just hard cast another Angel. Lord of the Accursed could potentially give Menace. Yeah, I'll double block a Crib Breaker here. Bring back Secret Keeper. And it's pretty unlikely for my opponent to come back. Next turn I can main phase Charter Course, discard Golem, reanimate it. Block here, taking 10. Didn't see my opponent killing me here. If they didn't play land yet, we have to be careful of like land into jump on polluter to drain us for a bunch, but they already played land for the turn. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. No refurbish, but a few ways to potentially find it. Turn 1 Thoughtseize isn't too disruptive since we didn't have refurbish in hand anyway. It takes chart, of course, so that's going to prevent me from discarding a gift, which I guess is somewhat annoying. For now, play Farmland and then we can mill ourselves with Secret Keeper at the very least. And then planning can look for maybe a Champion of Woods to discard gift, find our refurbish second Thoughtseize. Takes a planning. And then we'll just mill ourselves here. Midnight Reaper is fine. And there's Refurbish. So don't have Gift in the Graveyard just yet. So planning will need to find another Champion of Wits or Chart of Course. Double Priest. And there's Champion of Wits, perfect. Alright. Next turn we've got Godfur's Gift online, which is going to be hard to beat for them. Especially with Angel of Invention making servo tokens we can sacrifice to the priest. If they have Mayhem Devil they can maybe take out Secret Keeper, but I don't really mind. Alright. And we'll start by getting back Angel.
guess a servo can go. Phil tries to draw two, so our opponent does get to draw a few cards, but their entire board is gone. And next turn we can get back a second Godfather's Gift, bring back Angel, bring back Champion of Wits, draw six. So we should be fine. Alright, Thought Seize takes away a second Refurbish. And our opponent explodes, they're just dead on board. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand's definitely on the slow side with three tap lines. Although triple planning is gonna dig pretty deep for everything we need. So I'm still tempted to keep. But we might be in trouble against a more aggressive deck. And we're up against goblins. Not a great matchup, typically speaking. But we'll see. Alright, so at the very least I can get back refurbished turn 4 with Mystic Sanctuary. So just gotta find our Godfather's Gifts. So we'll plan... And there's Gifts, and then we can take Fountain for now, I suppose. Do we already have an Angel of Invention in the Graveyard? We don't. So, could also go for Charter Course, and then next turn I can uh, Charter Course, maybe play Secret Keeper as a blocker, and put my Refurbish on top. Discard Angel and then get back Angel on turn 5. Which might be too late, since my opponent has a pretty good start here with Krenko, with Haste. And even an Instigator to make more tokens. So yeah, just a, a tiny bit too slow, although we did draw Refurbish. Problem is, there's not a whole lot to get back at the moment. I can get back Champion of Wits, but that's not gonna help me. So yeah, the Goblins matchup is not a good one. This is typically how it goes, even if you manage to get Gift in play. If the opponent has a Krenko or just casts a Muxus, you can often be dead before you get to stabilize, even if you have a Deputy as a bit of interaction. So this doesn't matter. Yes. Trash Master also could destroy the gifts. Usually don't see Trash Master in the main deck, so the Goblin deck doesn't really have answers to your uh, Godfather's Gift once it's in play. And this is also one of the matchups where having access to Wrath of God could be worth it, but of course being double white means it's not going to be a reliable turn 4 play. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Good ways of discarding gifts, just need to find refurbish. And do I play Minister turn 1? I don't think I do. Just play Triumph. And then I'm guaranteed to turn two charts, turn three champion of wits, which seems more important. Or I could, I guess, minister farmland this turn, and then still champion on three. Opponent in the meantime playing some sort of gate deck. All right, so sanctuary means that if we find a copy of. Uh, Refurbish milled with Minister, we can also get access to it. And there's Refurbish, perfect. 
Do we put Angel in the graveyard or Champion of Wits? I guess Champion might be more important against the gate deck just to get the cards flowing and then we can discard Angel afterwards. Suppose I could have also milled with Minister here to find out. In case we happen to mill another copy. Gatebreaker Ram. Pretty big. So if we didn't draw Refurbish, Sanctuary could have put it back on top. So for now... Could also Refurbish back Meteor Golem, but it's just worse than putting Gift in play. Yeah, I guess I don't hit Meteor Golem here, get rid of the Ram. And attack for six. Could have also milled with Minister, but Meteor Golem's probably the best we could get. Alright, so we've got some options. Main phase, I could play Angel. That way if we bring back Champion we get to draw 5 instead of 4. I could main phase Charter Courts discarding Golem to kill Ram once again, or Deputy it. Although that's weak to potential Gates Ablaze. So I think I like main phase Charter Course discarding Golem. And then I can mill myself some more with the Secret Keeper. And then Golem can blow up Gatebreaker Ram. And there we go. Alright, fast one against the uh, Gates deck. Thanks to turn 4 Godfur's Gift. So yeah, I mean... The deck is pretty consistent at getting Godfather's Gift in play. If not on turn 4, then at the very least on turn 5, thanks to Mystic Sanctuary. It is going to struggle against some of the faster aggro and combo decks in the format. We face Neoform and Goblins, those are two of the more popular combo decks. I do kind of see the Goblins as a combo deck. And then, uh, yeah, some of the aggro decks might be able to go underneath you. And the lack of Wrath of Gods could be punishing in those matchups. But against anything else, a bit more mid-rangey or trying to get to the late game, you've got a ton of tools available and you can usually go over the top of uh, most other decks. So definitely recommend it if you've got the cards for it, but it does take a few mythics that you might not use anywhere else. So build it with caution, I guess. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.